How is everyone doing today? It is February, February 12th of 2022. Um, just wanted to throw a quick little babble video clip in here before Angel and Kiddo do their lemon challenge. But uh, this isn't a, a, a video on what you should do or how you can do something. It's more of a video to hopefully inspire to find the things around you and uh, maybe uh, find a second use for them. Things are getting expensive in the world right now and uh, it might be better to really figure out how to reuse and uh, recycle better. Me and uh, Angel's, one of our biggest strengths is the fact that we can uh, we come up with things like this all the time. It's kind of fun to be able to tetricize it a little bit, but uh, I wanted to show everybody this. This is just a $25, $30 shop light um, running across the top of one of our stands. This little table thing came from um, Ross. I think it was $10, but uh, a store called Ross and it fits in our shelving system perfect. So I might have to buy another one of those. It kind of gives a flat platform. We'll put the thermometer uh, heating mat on this eventually. And uh, we have a couple other lights that are purple lights we got from a friend a little while back that we're going to put up here too. But uh, these came from the dollar store and I think they were $24 for a dollar and I still call it the dollar store because when we bought these probably a year ago, they were still a dollar. So we spent a dollar for 24 of these, they'd be a dollar 25 now. Um, they were hanging on clips um, at the edge of the aisle when we had found them. Um, I think they're shot glasses, but we just kind of repurposed them for less nefarious uh, reasons. There you go. It is, uh, and then we clipped the bottoms of them so that they could uh, absorb water. Stuffed them with soil that's mixed with cocoa coir and perlite. Um, this right here, the top container and the bottom container that I'm using for the dome and the bottom watering spot, that come from a five dollar brownie, and so eight people ate from that brownie. So it's either free, it's either five dollars, however you want to look at it. Um, this right here was a dollar store purchase about a year ago, and it was like these seed or not seed trays, it was a uh, an ice tray. So we noticed right away that two of the uh, ice things had uh, broken out. So the bottom of this right here, 
um, would go on the bottom and you could hypothetically push the ice out but you couldn't really ever get the ice out it was all freezing and these come off really really easy so rather than throw that out um, like I think we had previously I decided to just peel these off here use these small dollar store cups in this uh, trash dome thing and it all kind of fit perfect and it's not really how you should do something it's more of uh, figuring out things that work putting the pieces of the puzzle together and so that you can get more things grown um, in here was the lemon seeds that we had used in the baggie method uh, 13 days ago today maybe 14 days ago about two weeks ago we had done it in about five or ten days they'll start to see the sprouts and stuff um, they were getting a little bit neglected I think a couple of them um, that were really really small sprouts we double seeded and stuff but once these get growing and uh, going well we can just take the cup right out like this and uh, give it away to somebody and it basically just buys us a couple weeks on lemon trees and stuff lemons uh, trees take a little longer to grow so we wanted to save some of the bin space that we're still freeing up for our bin system in order to um, kind of rotate things out of our seed starting little greenhouse down here and get them into this system so lots of changes going on really really fast i'm sorry if this is a uh, Another one of our longer videos, we would like to keep videos under 10 minutes, but we just can't seem to do it. But Kiddo and Angel are about ready to do a lemon challenge because Kiddo beat me in the last one and uh, I'm hoping to have a little bit of vengeance. I would also like to note these little rubber things that come off here, we'll be throwing these away. <coughs> but all sorts of things. For example, um, this shelving unit, a lot of these shelving units have wheels on them. And if you get the one with wheels... You can take the wheels off, you can pull them on and off, but it usually doesn't come with extra caps. Like the caps that come on the top of these, if you don't use the wheels, you probably want to use these caps down at the bottom, for example. Or you could leave these caps up here, especially if you have a hardwood floor or uh, your kitchen's in linoleum, for example. You would not want to scratch up the floor, but also you might worry about the wheels kind of causing it to rock or slide around too much. So if you want your stable grow shelf like that, you could take these little rubber things right here. And put them down at the bottom between the floor and the um, thing that would ha the hole without the with the metal on it that would uh, possibly scratch up the floor if you wanted to take the wheels out of a shelf. But that was just an example of random things that you can use. As um, soon as these ones start sprouting and we give some of these away, we can use the other side of the cups. I think it was a pack of 24. So this uh, setup right here is like. $50 for both those and then all of the scrap and everything else like that the soil everything else like that's probably like a $5 setup So not too bad um, We kind of got this underneath it and stuff like that where we're worried about spilling the water too much But it is February 12th of 2022 This is UT Angel and Kiddo and we got our lemon seeds planted. We put them with the root down So put plenty of water in them right now if you're using a dome. Sorry, I'm babbling um, if you're using a dome then uh, what you should notice is whether it's a sealed, like an, uh, an atrium or not, when you're using a dome in the mornings, you should have a little bit of moisture. It should go away in the middle of the day and then it should come back uh, starting in the evening time. And uh, throughout the night, it'll have a little bit of moisture in it. But if you're looking for it, if you wanna find out if you have too much moisture in it, if in the middle of the day, it doesn't go away and it stays really, really wet, then it's uh, too much moisture. Take the lid off, let it dry out for a little bit. If you um, are noticing in the mornings or the nights, there's no, it's dry in there and it's not building up that humidity. But um, I've noticed that that will work for about every uh, single zone. So we won't be running the light right now because it's pretty warm in this spot. And we'll probably be moving a heat mat over here. But uh, with dome systems and stuff like that, that's how you can tell. You should see humidity in the uh, all through the night, but in the mornings, and in the evenings, in the middle of the day, dryness. If you got moisture in the middle of the day, um, it's too wet and take the lid off and let it dry out a little bit or maybe drain some of the water off. And if you don't have moisture in the morning and night, then uh, the humidity in there, then uh, it's too dry. So this is UT Angel and Kiddo, February 12th of 2022. Love you guys. Catch you in a second. Get that seat out first. All right, so the lemon challenge is pretty simple. Um, Kiddo beat me at it a couple weeks ago and he's about to have the rematch with Angel. So it's just both of them will start eating lemons and uh, the first one to make a sour face is the loser. What should the winning prize be? 
we think. Super extreme best lemon eating master in the world. <laughs> Don't rub your eyes, you're right. I got all the juice in my eye. <laughs> oh gosh. When life gives you lemons, you get juice in your eye. All right, you guys ready? All right, see. I'm rooting for Angel. I want her to win because I'm mad about get losing. <laughs> ready? One, two, three, go. Really, really sour. I'm having to hold back the pot. Ooh, both of you are twinging, but I can't see a fold yet. You gotta keep eating them until yeah. somebody wins. Why, are they just swallow seed? Hope not. Oh, I think I just lost. <laughs> you did if you think you did, and you just said you did, and I think you were doing so <laughs> when I watched it. <laughs> there you go, that was definitely one. You went all crazy eyed <laughs> on us. Oh, man. It was really sour. I was holding it back. <laughs> All right, like, kiddo. They yeah, are good though. I, I could see both of you guys were close, and I didn't want you guys to look at me because I know you guys better than anybody in the world. And I could see that you guys were about ready to fold underneath. But <clears throat> All right, so the lemon uh, challenge. Kiddo beat me, and then he beat Angel. So maybe me and Angel uh, coming up in a month or two, if we feel like it, we'll uh, sit down and give it these are the more sour lemons actually store-bought lemons like if you get a tomato from the store it feels like it tastes like water in comparison to a yard tomato but if you get uh lemons from the store it seems yeah. like they're more sour so that's i don't know if that's disgusting. because yeah. that one's gross that's gross i don't know why that is but it seems like the store-bought lemons are more sour just maybe less sweet and strong in flavor but still the sour part of it but Good job. I was rooting for you, but you did pretty good. Mm -hmm. You want to sign us out, kiddo? Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.